Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Uh, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're overruled. So today we're going to be watching Judge Steve Harvey again. I'm obsessed with the show. I can't get enough. And I've brought a real lawyer uh, to debunk some of the nonsense that Steve is up to. That's right. Absolutely. The court decorum. I'm sure he's following none of it. No, I, I can't imagine that he is. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, real quick, just to introduce you, Alex, what is the best way to do that? You're a TikToker. You're a TikTok's heartthrob public defender. Boom. Yeah, that's good. I'm mostly a public defender, and then I make TikToks. You're very humble. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're a man Aww. of the people, and, we all, and that's why we love you. But you're in town, and I couldn't uh, miss the opportunity to ask you questions about this fake TV judge show that's totally staged. I'm very excited, yes. I just made a video about this show and people have told me about arbitration but then also people have told me that that's how the old judge shows worked y you know you tell me but you like two parties can say like hey this person's yeah. the arbiter of this like that's right yeah, disagreement yeah. or whatever sure they can sign off on it and then technically it has you know it's legally binding on them but it's also you know civil court is like it's like small potatoes. Right. It's like, right. oh, this guy, I owe him a hundred bucks or Right, whatever. yeah. And this this is just YouTube commenter. So there's if anyone <laughs> has worked on the show or has auditioned for the show, it's tough because you don't want to paint a target on your back if you're work if you're like an actor who wants to work on this show. Oh, sure, sure. You know, you don't want to be someone who's like blown the like the lid wide open on Hollywood conspiracy. But I've heard that it's all just actors and then they test to see how good you are at improv. I think that is shocking and appalling. He's lying. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's just jump into it. This is season two, episode two of Judge Steve Harvey. And the title, do you want to go ahead and read that for me, Alex? Even though my aunt is dead, I need my bread. Exactly. Uh, I want you to see the theme song because it's awesome. So I ain't got a law degree and I'm way too fly to wear a robe. But this is where common sense presides. What, what, do you, what do you think about that? I mean, Steve Harvey's kind of got a bulletproof statement on people don't see eye to eye. That's right. That's correct. But then he, that's where he comes in. Right. He's the arbiter. He's the arbiter. He doesn't have a law degree. Right. Well, so at least he lets us know that. He doesn't. He's that like, this I, is the unauthorized practice of <laughs> yeah, law. That's true. Yeah. I guess, you know, if your judge told you that they didn't have a law degree and they were way too fly to wear a robe, how would that like hit you? I'd be like, okay, thank you for being honest with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is a good time to ask. Do, do judges always wear robes? Is there like a legal? No, no. Okay. Uh, they do, you know. They do often, but it kind of depends like what kind of court you're in mm. and uh, like where you're practicing. And there see. are different kinds of judges. So no, they don't know. Some ropes. take it like a little bit too seriously, like it's a Absolutely. power trip. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I had a feeling. Yeah. That's not really fun when a judge is taking themselves too seriously. It's kind of hard to imagine though that Judge Harvey yeah. is doing that. Thank you for respectfully using the honorific Judge Harvey. That's yes, of course. Needs yeah. to be referred to. Okay. This is how it is in court all the time. There's yeah, like an audience. There's a huge, there's <laughs> there's a huge a standing ovation. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there's like an audience, but like, is there a court term for that? Because it's not a jury. No, it's just, I mean, the court is open to the public, right? So right. like people can be there. Do you, what do you refer to them as? The public or? Sure. Okay. And like judges can, you know, close their courtroom in certain circumstances, Got but it. normally it's, you know, cool. open. But just asking in case I want to start my own Go. You know, judge program. Oh yeah, absolutely. Marlo is suing her cousin Dina for $5,000 for cremation services for a deceased aunt. Dina claims there never was an agreement about when she needed to pay her cousin back and wants to countersue for $5,000 for emotional distress. Countersuing for the exact same amount of money is like... Feels like a little bit of an Uno reverse situation. Yeah, I mean, you can counter sue for Just kind whatever. of like whatever you yeah. want, but it kind of seems like there's really no rules when it comes to civil apps. I think so. Okay, I mean, cool. like, I, I mean, like, there are rules, right? Technically, right, but it's America and you can sue whoever you want. Doesn't yeah. mean it'll go the distance, but like, right. you can. But it's expensive to go the distance, right? Of Typically. course, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I think, you know, I mean, in this case, it's like, well, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> we're not even convinced these are real people. I am here suing my cousin, Dana Moore, because her mother passed and she didn't have the money to cremate her. So she reached out to me and asked me if I could help her. I did. What happens if 
that feels like it's a common thing. Five thousand dollars to cream at somebody is extremely expensive. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not in the cremation game anymore. But <laughs> why? What, where, did you used to be? Sorry, I meant just at all. Oh, but, okay. Uh, that was a slip up. But <laughs> I, Yo, wait, what is he hiding? I, yeah, no, I think that's very expensive. But I don't know how much does it cost to cream at a or how much person. the bear, like I I'm like because if someone passes like yeah I guess there are all sorts of fees. It seems wrong in a society that it costs money for someone to die but i guess that's how it works <laughs> you know yeah it no, seems I weird agree. that like you you know you could be put under financial strain yeah abs yeah absolutely. i mean other than the fact that someone died and they could have had they could sure. have been in your household or for what 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 have you but like also putting them to rest costing money it's horrible it, yeah i mean you could just throw me in the woods yeah if yeah do that yeah you're like after, i got out of the cremation game and now yeah just to toss just me in a put, just put me in the woods put fine. me under a big pile of leaves oh that's nice for like a okay no but then a child will discover it and it'll traumatize them for life okay well i'm an upstanding citizen and i would have paid it well clearly not or we wouldn't be here today oh, oh marlo <laughs> you're already a part of it you're you're i know shouting, just yeah. sucked in <laughs> cremation people hand right i paid them directly oh okay. i went down there and paid them then she told me it was an added fee to have her shipped i told her i ain't got that kind of money i could have put her in a fedex box and got it there quicker than what they wanted oh my god see i don't <laughs> <laughs> like i don't think it's legal i think it's a felony to ship human remains i, I think, think that's true i think i've seen like a true crime documentary where like a serial killer did something like that and then on top of the killing they also did a, a felony by shipping. They hit them with the that charge as well. Yeah, they were like, they were like, you know what? Throw that in there as well. You've already you're going away for life, but book them, book them. Pay them so she can't piece pay me my money. They weren't gonna burn a little bit of her at a time. So I need all my money at one time too. She said they weren't gonna burn a little bit of her at a time. Oh my right? god, it's so so what, like it feels like it's disrespecting the dead, right? Yeah, like that's yeah. what it feels like to me. Yeah, um, but, but it is, but it is technically true that they wouldn't burn that. No, she her does have piece a point. By piece, yeah, that yeah, that, that's not technically practical. technically correct. Yeah, so I, I I do think a payment plan though that's not how a payment plan works. Like when you buy a when you buy a car, you don't get like a piece of the car. Mm. as you pay it off you know you get the whole car yeah that's and then then you you pay it so i imagine <laughs> you know hypothetically that's how a payment plan for a cremation would work as well folks i can tell right now this is going to be a little bit touchy but death is a part of life everybody got to go through it don't be appalled by anything you hear <laughs> too late judge harvey yeah they don't cremate you pieces at a time we Why know does he keep we saying know that? we what? know <laughs> no one was confused no about one was that. confused about that element of things so now let me ask you something you all are i just don't love the, the the optics of like it just feels so wild to me that it's they're talking about a person who has passed and then everybody's like <laughs> you know oh. can't kill them or can't burn them half at a time i don't know yeah it's silly funny. We grew up like sisters. Oh, you all grew up like sisters. Our mothers were sisters, and we grew up like sisters. That's right. That's how cousins work. Oh, this Aww. Is yeah. We're cousins. Okay, so y'all had a good relationship? We had a great relationship. What happened? All right, cool. So yes. now, she here for you again. So yes. now, what was the agreement between you all? There was not one. I went to her because I no. was having a tough... For family, you would trust that they're, like, working in your best interest. Yeah. I mean, you know, family stuff gets sticky. Family stuff sticky. Gets, gets sticky. But if you're working with anyone in, under a professional context, always get it in writing. Yes. Lawyered. Lawyered. That's the... Put a stamp on it. Lawyered. <laughs> Lawyered. And I was going to pay her back. And I'm going to pay now, her back. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. That's the agreement. Okay. She paid it. You were going to pay it back. When were you expecting payment? in a few months, because I told her, I got two little pimps graduating. What? Oh, yeah. children? Yeah, you know when you refer to your kids as two little pimps. <laughs> yeah, We've okay. all done that. Okay. Yeah. I can see right now we're about to enter into a cultural aspect. <laughs> bailiff reaction cam. <laughs> so, what does a bailiff do? I feel like they're like court security in my head. Yeah, I mean, like they're court officers. Court officers, got yeah, it. Yeah, and, they know, and they're strapped. They got a gun. Yeah, that's scary. You don't want to mess with them. I don't like guns. They scare me that a lot of you are unfamiliar with because she said I got two little pimp pimps as children. Yes. That's all that is. Not a derogatory term. So this is just, this is wait, just Steve wait, Harvey just, explaining things. He said that pimps is not a derogatory term for children. I get, He's saying it's a totally normal non-derogatory term. Yeah. It's what we all call our kids. It's a term of endearment 
I, I told y'all, I just said a minute ago, don't be shocked by nothing you about to hear. But that wasn't, <laughs> when he said don't be shocked about what you're about to hear, it was in relation to death. Yeah. Not talking and remains. about kids as human pimps. remains. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like talking about children is, which is cute, I think. Talking about children is, is pimps. That is a term of endearment. I think people were just laughing. And this woman is just like looking back at, I don't know. Directly at, at the camera. Yeah, looking back at us. Even though my aunt is dead, I need my bread. You know that you owe me. Yeah. <laughs> Hell there yeah. It goes. She said it. She said it. It's like in the movies where they say the, <laughs> <laughs> they did the thing. She did it. Teachers don't make no money. And I asked her to help me and she- agreed. Just a small cultural commentary. <laughs> By the way, teachers, we don't pay teachers it's enough. It's really true. true. I had no idea that I was calling Lenny the Loan Shark to borrow the money that's like when donald trump gives somebody a fun nickname true yeah yeah because yeah. is she referring to her marlo cousin? yeah marlo marlo as Lenny the Lo oh i didn't know it was a low i thought i was just getting help from family right yeah. not the not a Lenny the loan shark she's besmirching her character you yeah know, honestly yeah and i don't love that true i agree still got the ash yes, yes. oh yes. yes so this this a hot this is a hostage, a hostage situation. No, this is collateral. It's rent. When you borrow from oh, the bank, collateral. it's collateral. Oh my God. <laughs> oh dear. This is a part of the show where Steve trying to hold himself back from laughing. I feel like he does this on every show that he's on and he's very bad at it. You can tell he's, mm -hmm. you can tell he's enjoying himself. Yeah, so back to disrespecting the dead. I feel like it's happening again. <laughs> it's happened numerous times. It's kind of maybe the whole, the whole entertaining aspect of this for the audience is the callous way in which they're talking about yes. a dead person. When you get from a bank, you use collateral. I put in the car, put in the seatbelt. Oh, no, she liked okay. to shop. I took a shopping okay. on my last shopping trip. Okay, this has got to be improv. <laughs> this has got to be a bit. I put the urn in the passenger seat and we went shopping. One, she needed to be strapped in. Safety. She, safety first, honestly. But I don't think that a uh, seatbelt is built for an urn. I think it might be a little bit too high. That shows how little you know about urns. Th that's true. I don't know the size or dimensions of this urn. I've seen some big urns. Okay. And I sent her the picture to let her know I had secured right, the package. Right, because at the same time, she her. sent me... Wait, 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 wait. You sent a picture? Oh, my God. They Do they have the picture? They got the picture. They got the picture. They got the picture. What, what is this? See? I secured the package. Oh, no! Oh, oh uh, my God. It's just in a little green bag. And you texted and said, okay, I got her. Okay, wait, 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 okay. Wait, 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 okay. wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, wait, yeah. wait. Hear me out. In a chat yeah. with Marlo Payne, mm -hmm. it wouldn't need to say, you wouldn't need to have your own name. Like what chat app would this be? But I don't mm -hmm. think it's a chat app. I, I think it's, maybe it's a real thing that happened and the production sort of recreated it. Sure, 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 sure. Suspending our disbelief All that here, aside. I think it's really important to point out the response. Make sure to buckle her in. <laughs> Laughing emoji. I don't know. It feels like she's in on the joke a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. This isn't some horrifying thing. This no. is just a little goofs. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't want them to like weekend at Bernie's My Ashes and go about town. Yeah. Kind of just like throw me somewhere and just like let me rest. Because mm -hmm. I already don't like doing things in the real world. I don't like running so you don't, errands. Yeah, right. You don't want to be brought anywhere. Yeah, it would kind of yeah. be against the spirit of my life. Which, right. And I've spent a lot of time <laughs> avoiding responsibility. <laughs> Okay, good to know. Yeah, that's just a bet about me. You could do it. I mean, whatever. My remains, no big deal. No big deal. Whatever you can take you them. Want. Take me around Disney town. World. <laughs> I don't yeah. care. Y'all deal with it with humor. Yes. Cool. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready to make jokes. Yes. Because yes. I've been trying not to laugh the whole damn time. <laughs> no, feel free. I'm so oh. glad y'all looking at it humor because this yeah. funny as hell to me. <laughs> Did you put in the grocery cart and push around? <laughs> <laughs> He's like a child. He's like, he can't help himself. Killing it right now. Yeah, it's kind of killing it. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm ashamed to say. The golden gavel. The golden gavel is a nice, it's a kind of his thing. He kind of called Ord in the court on himself, I think, just now. Yeah. So where's our Mildred now? I got it right here. Huh? I got it. Oh. Oh no. Oh. 
because right don't wrong nobody. So when See, I get my money, thing. you can have your mother. Like, what era do you think this is from? It looks like it's from the 60s to me. Okay, cool. I was going to say like 70s, but yeah. maybe early 70s. It gives me the like Jetsons vibe of like the futurism. Uh huh. Like what the future will be like, but like from pretty far in the past. For urns. For urns, yeah. <laughs> Specifically, urn, urn history. Technology. Yeah, urn technology is something I'm passionate about. You can have your mother. Um, That's Milton Milton. right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Now, Marla, you want $15.85 for the cremation and you want $3,000. Marlo is very pleased with herself. You could look at her. Yeah. She's so, she's very like smarmy. It feels like she was practicing her bits. Like she had the, even though my aunt is dead, I need my bread line written yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. But when that, she found out she was going to be on the show, she was like, I need to prepare my tight five. Yeah. But she was cooking with that. You have to. Yeah. No, absolutely. I, I credit where credit is due. Okay. Now, Marlo. You want fifteen eighty five for the cremation, and you want three thousand four hundred and fifteen for pain and suffering. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. Why did I laugh at that? You <laughs> <laughs> were like, "Wow!" I was like, "Huh?" -huh. You were not buying like, oh, it at all. Oh no! Yeah, that's a little too much for pain and suffering. I think. When I was trying to communicate with her as far as payment arrangements, she blocked me. Stop taking calls. Blocked me. I blocked her because my mouth lethal in 48 states and hers in 26. And so is mine, exactly. So my mouth is lethal in 48 states. She's oh. like, I blocked her because I needed to protect her from me because mm. I was about to say some stuff. It was weird that she said <laughs> mine is illegal in 48 states and hers in 26. Like to say that like, she's also got a mouth on her, but mine is extra bad. So who's moving the furniture? So I just had to shut everything down to try to maintain some Because y'all been knowing each other for a while and, and you know how to I know her and she know me. Right. I, and I have know me. reached my verdict. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? They're just like talking. They were kind <laughs> of in the middle of talking. <laughs> And then it's almost as if he got a light from production that was saying, okay, right, time's up. wrap it up. Yeah, have you ever seen anything ha happen like that? A judge reaches their verdict mid-sentence. I have reached my verdict <laughs> in the middle of everyone yeah, talking in court. Talking. Yeah, no. Um, but I guess maybe bench, well, this isn't even how a bench trial works, but uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like sort of gave it a shot. How do you think he's gonna rule? I don't think he's gonna award damages. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, Marlo well, kept her the the ashes safe by putting them in the seat belt. True, and took good care of her. Right. So she's saying like you the emotional distress. He's gonna say like, hey, blocking you mm -hmm. wasn't it isn't enough emotional distress to warrant thirty four hundred dollars in damages. Right. Yeah. Wait, who's counter suing? Marlo and, is suing her for the money. Right for the money. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So do you think he's gonna say, Deanna, cough up the money? Yeah, but the we'll 1500 on maybe. The 1500 yeah, yeah, not the full. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Deanna, pay the 1500 Marlo, give her the ashes. No emotional damages. Right, right, right. Keep family. 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 Yeah, he's going to definitely say something family. about family. Okay. Because y'all actually love each other. I do. I do. But the, the real fact of the matter is you owe her $1,585. Now... I cannot give you $5,000 for pain and suffering or emotional Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. because you didn't pay her. Miss Marlowe, I cannot award you any money at all for pain and suffering. Okay. But I will do this, though. I'm going to award you $1,585 for the cremation. Okay. But since... Miss Dina Moore is a school teacher and has fallen on such hard Oh, time. he's going to pay it. My court will pay oh. that money for her today. Okay. That's nice. Wow. I mean, I feel like you hit the nail on the head here. To get that jar, urn, urn. It's an urn. Jar. He was like talking to himself there. Like he's constantly <laughs> calling, calling people's remains jars. He's like, no, Steve. no, Steve. It's an urn. Urn, urn. It's an urn. <laughs> Respect the dead. Respect the dead. I can award up to $10,000 in this court. Miss Dina, I'm going to give you $7,000.
Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know. This is a game changer right here. Yeah, whoa. Well, I, I'm kind of confused. I mean, this is that Hollywood magic. The, the Hollywood magic. <laughs> He's going full Mr. Beast now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, well, I wonder why he can award up to $10,000. Is that like a legal thing or is that like a budget for the <laughs> That's show? the budget for yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. They're like, okay, we've the got- The producer said I could award you up to $10,000 and that's how we break even on the production costs. We could write those off. <laughs> It's for all you've done as a school teacher, for all the hardship down there, them two floods and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> the remaining 1,415, I'm gonna give that to you. The reason I'm giving you that is because you remind me of my Aunt Act. She used to send everybody to the store and give them a nickel to go to the store. But she would never give me a nickel because I had a stuttering problem. And she said, I ain't giving you no money to go down there stuttering and spitting all over the counter. She used to call me stupid all the time. No, no, no. It was good, though. No, what? no, no, Steve. <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, no, 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 Steve, no. Steve, <laughs> hold on. You can't just... Steve. No, really, Steve. <laughs> I, he started really opening up to us and then saying a really sad story about... His aunt who verbally abused uh, him. Verbally abused him, called him stupid, said he was... Had a stuttering problem. He was stuttering and spitting all over. And she wouldn't give him a nickel. And then he goes, no, no, it was good, <laughs> actually. It was good for me. Because it built character. It made me who I am today. That's, I hope he doesn't say that, but. I just love how, like, at first you're like, oh, this is going to be so, this is so lovely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. You oh. remind me of my sweet aunt. And then he says this yeah, horrible who said thing. The meanest, <laughs> who was the meanest, evilest lady to me. Even the audience. <laughs> even, even the audience is like, uh. The way he smiles. She used to call me stupid all the time. Also, he is so old that a nickel used to mean something. Yeah, how many years ago was <laughs> yeah, this? Yeah, that must have been a long time ago. Maybe he's an ancient one. Good though, but she motivated me. Ain't Agnes today, she ain't in my wheel or nothing. <laughs> okay, that's funny. She has told me one time, I guess I ain't gonna ever get no money from you until you die. Well, Aunt Agnes, you ain't gonna get none in. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> The wink the, is hilarious. Wow. It's the most evil wink I've seen in my life. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> what a strange overshare to happen from a judge. Excuse me, can you do one more thing? Can I do one more thing? I got a feeling I might do it. Go ahead and ask me. Can you order her to unblock me so that we can mend our relationship? Oh, uh... that is so sad. Holy shit. <laughs> that can is that something you can order someone to do? <laughs> order them to unblock, unblock me, judge. It. Yeah. No, normally it goes the other way. Yeah. I order you. <laughs> but he did it. He did it. Okay. You, if matter of fact, if you don't unblock her with my bailiff by the time we <laughs> leave this building right here, I ain't giving you a quote. <laughs> okay. That's something you can do, I guess. I was like, what is he about to yeah, say? Yeah, like literally. <laughs> now y'all get on the back to being friends and sisters. That's who you were. That's not how that works. Guess what? Family. Family. It's That's true. But he can't just be like, I order you to get back to being friends. Eh, I think he can. Oh, well, I got lawyered. And that's my final verdict. And that's the way I see it. Thank it. Let's go. Yeah. Since Judge Harvey has awarded me my money rightfully, I'm rightfully going to return your mother to you. Thank you. I appreciate that. She still seems kind of upset about it. It does feel like a hostage situation because now I will return your I mother got my to money. You. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Man, what a strange show. I'm sucked in. You're sucked in. This is going to be your new this is going to be your new thing. This is going to ruin my life. Yeah, I my apologies, but also thank you for joining me, Alex. Of course. Um, or sh should I call you Lol, lol, overruled. Low people call me Lolo, lol, overruled. Low, low. Alex, I like Lolo. I think Lolo is cool. I like that. I know. I gotta change my legal name to that. Yeah. No. No. That if you change your legal name, it won't be special anymore. Oh, true. Yeah. It's like that way. The people who know, they get to okay. call you Lolo. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you, Lolo, for joining me today. Thanks for having me. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, Steve Harvey really taught us the importance of family, and that's really all that matters. And that's all that matters. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Is there anything you want to plug? Oh my God. I have a book that's coming out hopefully at the end of this year and I have a sub stack where you can learn more about that and Ooh. keep track of it. And it's fiction and it's magical realism. And oh it's, shit. It's actually about death, which is... Sweet. I hope there's jars. There's a lot of jars. Yeah. Jars and ashes. Of ashes. Yeah. Which are called urns. Oh, uh, urn, urn, urn. Urn, Sorry. Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Dude, that's sick. I had no idea you were in the, the world of in magical the... realism. Yeah. Well, it's a new development for me, but... 
it's uh i'm excited i think it's a cool creative project oh yeah man all right thanks everybody cool. for watching thank you i'll catch you later stay gold everybody Bye.